tonight by a score of 52 to 49 as we get ready for the boys game. And uh, Mike, I'm gonna, as I get my book ready, I'll let you talk about the uh, boys as we get ready to go here. Getting ready for the starting lineups here. Sacred Heart starts Connor Martin, Kyle Washinger, Mark Reardon, Josh Winholtz, and I think it's number 35, Rapp. Minneapolis, uh, good to see Charlie Lynn back out on the floor with the boot off. He played JV game, and uh, probably will see a few minutes here tonight off the bench. Connor Martin for Sacred Heart, number one. Six foot, 170 pound senior. Casey Argenbride introduced for Minneapolis. And for the night, the six foot one senior, number four, Mark. Mark Reardon, 6'1", junior, for Sacred Heart. Will be opposed by Grayson George. Got the ankle braces on tonight. Grayson rolled it severely on Tuesday night. Let's see how that's recovered. Wassinger, 6' senior, will be opposed by Logan Weedle. So it's Martin Wassinger, Reardon. Nick Paul's the other six-foot senior. Dylan Crossan introduced for Minneapolis. And for Sacred Heart, a six-foot three junior, number 34, Josh Winholt. Winholt, pretty good size, six-three post, 200 pound, well put together. Can be matched up with Keegan McCulloch. The Lions are seven and seven overall, two and five in the league. The Knights are eleven and four overall, six and one in the league. And I guess you know who probably beat them. Uh, they're top ten in class two A. That's yeah. been a herd of buffaloes. Yeah. <laughs> Republic County still playing real well, and they've got probably one of their better players back from injury. You say he was back, Dale? I saw his name in the score uh, box, uh, Roberts. Yeah, she's up there. <laughs> you, had, you had him in the mix. Wow. They are they are a powerhouse. So. Well, we're just 20 seconds away from the tip-off here. Minneapolis in their home whites. Sacred Heart in their traveling blues. And this should be a good one. Winholtz will jump center against Grayson George. George Ankle must be okay if he's Gonna jump center, Minneapolis playing defensively here on the tip. Sacred Heart playing for the tip. And we're ready to go. And the ball is up and it will go in the hands of the Knights to start out as, as Reardon comes away with the ball. Reardon kicks it on the outside to Wassinger. Wassinger back to Reardon. Reardon drives the lane, puts it up, blocked by Grayson George. Kicks it back on the outside, back to Connor Martin. Connor Martin swing pass. Shot up and good by number 11, Kyle Wassinger, as the Knights get on the board first. Minneapolis will bring it down as McCulloch brings it down, sets it up, gets in the hands of Grayson George. Grayson at the top of the key. Swing pass back to Keegan McCulloch. McCulloch back to Argenbright. Argenbright on the right hand side. Looks down low, has nothing, gets it back on the outside to McCulloch. McCulloch sets it back up. Back to Casey. Casey at the top of the key. He will. Pick up his dribble though and gets it back to McCulloch. McCulloch drives the lane, kicks it over to Argenbright. Little shot, bank shot, no good. Rebounded by Martin. And he travels with it. So yeah, it's a turnover. nice defensive stand down there. George had a real nice block down there, but I think it was Washington who got the open look and nails the deuce. Sacred Heart leading 2 0 here early, first quarter. Weedle inbounds, gets it up top to Casey. Casey back to Keegan. Nice job by Casey Argenbright to not travel with that one. Man-to-man -man defense here by Sacred Heart. Well off the mark is Grayson George as the ball will come up in the hands of the Knights. Back to Connor Martin at the top of the key. Martin with the ball. As he'll look down across to Swing pass over to Wassinger. Wassinger takes the three and he drains it. Wow. Wassinger, the senior, hits the uh, first two buckets for the Knights and they're up five to nothing. Grayson George back to Casey. Casey back to top of the key. Back to Keegan. 
Shot left hand up, no good. Rebounded by Wassinger. And gets it back in the hands of Mark Reardon. And there's the turnover. Nice job as ball will go out of bounds off of Pauls. Paul and took his eye off the ball. It went right through the hands. And Taker Hart will pick up man to man. Full court pressure. As they you get in the hands. Oh wow, nearly picked, nearly stolen by the Knights. Good pressure by Sacred Hart. Minneapolis had a cutter going all the way down, just couldn't quite get it to him in time. And the turnover by the Lions. Connor Martin with the quick hands as the bounce pass is picked off. That's the travel, yep. Turnover will go back to Minneapolis. A lot of turn, uh, quite a few turnovers on both sides right now. That quick first step is being called by the refs. Well, that one looks very obvious. Well, yeah, that I agree with you there. Back to Casey. Casey breaks the press, stops the free throw line off the mark, and he's going to be fouled. As uh, it's a clear out by Winholtz. Crossing was fouled. Winholtz. Winholtz uh, threw uh, Crossing down the floor. Six foot three, two hundred pound Winholtz. Pretty good sized ball player. <laughs> Checking in will be Zach Mattel as well as Jordan Too Good. And Too Good hurt us pretty bad in the first game, didn't he? He was too good for us. Yeah. Ball goes back to Minneapolis. Logan Weedle on the outside. Back to Casey. Casey in trouble. Back to Logan. Uh, missed an opportunity there. Back to McCulloch. Tight man defense by the Knights here. As in the hands of Casey Argonne. Casey. Backs it up. And we'll set it back up. 5-17 left to go in the first quarter here. Five to nothing. Second hardest Knights on top. Casey gets his man up there. Oh, in and out. Wow. Couldn't get it to fall. Rebound goes to Sager Hart. And the ball will be out of bounds off of Sager Hart as Zach Littell misses the runner in the lane. Kind of oh. slashed through the two defenders there, but really didn't have a good shot. Full court press once again as Grayson George breaks the press, gets it back to Casey Argerbrook. Casey will set it up. 4.52 left to go here in the first first quarter. Five to nothing. Second hard on top. Ball goes into crossing. Back to Casey. Casey for three. In and out, but nice rebound by McCulloch, and he's fouled. Nice job, Keegan McCulloch, to, to uh, get the rebound there. Big offensive rebound by Keegan, and the head and shoulder fake gets Sacred Heart defenders up in the air, and he is hacked on the stick back. Ball did not go in. He'll shoot two here. Five nothing, Sacred Heart. 439 left, first quarter. We and cannot get one to go through the cylinder so far, guys. Oh, for everything for the Lions so far tonight. The big left-hander spins one out. Second one is up, and it is in and out as well. Wow. And nice job by Casey. Nearly gets the uh, nearly gets the steal, but instead it's the bucket by Martin. Seven to nothing. Knights on top, and there we go. Grayson George with the bucket. Finally breaks through the saran wrap on the cylinder. And then the steal, crossing. Dylan, Dylan crossing. into the hands yeah. of Grayson George. Nice job by Dylan with the reach in. Free ball, boom. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. And Dylan holding Dylan. I, well, no, no. I don't see how Dylan was trying to get through to get the, wow. Dylan called with a foul. A lot of banging going on there. Yoxel and Owens in for Minneapolis. Four minutes left first quarter. Sacred Earth seven, Minneapolis two. Five point lead as Winholz heads back to the scorer's desk. He's a big boy. Yep. Ball goes back to Connor Martin for three and he drains it. Dale, uh, what was the score of the first game when we played him? Do you remember? Uh, it was pretty bad. Pretty bad. I can't remember what it was. They changed up the defense. They've got a zone out here now. 
One, three, one, trap. 15 points or so, I think. Swing it over. There you go. Yep. Ball goes on the outside. Oh, tries to get it down low and stolen by the Knights. Two good big arms there. Nice pass by Sigurd Hart and McCulloch with the rebound. And Logan Wheel will bring it back down, set it up. Weedle back to Owens. Owens into Yoxel. Yoxel left hand up and good. Nice job, Andrew Yoxel. Nice pass by um, Owens. And second round Knights coach, Pat Martin, will install the timeout to talk about it. So with 2.56 left to go in the first quarter, we will go ahead and take one with them. You're listening to 910KMA.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 8. Since 1887, the Bennington State Bank has been your trusted hometown bank. For over 100 years, they've been interested in helping people achieve their financial goals. Let them help you, the Bennington State Bank, member FDIC and the Equal Housing Lender. City Pharmacy has brought you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wool will help you with your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy, downtown Minneapolis. Welcome back to Minneapolis as Sigurd Hart Knights with the lead, 10 to four here. Or 2.56 left to go in the, in the first quarter. Sigurd Hart gets it in the ball, into the hands of Connor Martin as he'll bring it down to set it up. Gets it to Winholtz, Winholtz back on the outside to Littell. Littell back to Reardon, Reardon drives, and it's, <coughs> Bucket's good. And the foul is on Minneapolis number three, Casey Argonne. Casey not set as Reardon headed to the rack. Reardon's one, of them, Reardon's one of them ball players that is uh, just pretty solid ball player. Pretty smooth. Doherty in for Minneapolis. 12 for Sacred Heart. Lefty puts it up and good, but he'd wave it off. 34 blue in the lane. No basket. So, and he knows it too. <laughs> so, so, my bad. I did it. So Winholtz with a size 14 in the lane. Ball goes back to Garrett Doherty across the timeline. He'll bring it in, gets it to Yoxel. Yoxel has it swatted away as ball goes back the other direction. And foul on Minneapolis, Garrett Doherty. And going to the line will be a name I just really don't want to say. <laughs> too good, man. Come on, say it. Too good. Just too good. <laughs> I think he's gotten I'll, taller. I'll I'll think, for you. I think I'll he's gotten a little taller since the last time we played him. Yeah, he stretched out a little more, hasn't he? <laughs> he's got an impressive arm span on him. Yeah, he does. First free throw is up and good. McCulloch so. and Weedle will check back in for the lines as Joxel and... Owens will check out. So on the floor is Doherty, uh, Weedle, Crossan, George, and McCulloch. They list him at 6-4. He's every bit of it. Yep. Second shot is up and good. 14-4, to Knights on top here, 231. He's just a sophomore too, isn't he? No, he's junior. Is he? okay. He's junior. I don't see any sophomores in, in uh, the ball game yet. For the Knights, all seniors and juniors. So Keegan McCulloch will bring it down. Yeah, and there's a foul on Winholtz. So you just can't guard him that far out from the basket. Yep. McCulloch is just too good of a ball handler. Uh, you have to wonder what the boy's trying to prove by trying to guard like that. Right there. Second foul on Winholtz. Ball goes back to Doherty. Oh, wow. Nice ball, a nice job by Sigurd Hart to come the other direction, and nice job by Weedle to get all ball, or to get the foul. He had a lot of ball there, but yeah, it, was it was a foul, but uh, nice job to prevent the bucket from Logan did a good job not allowing uh, that ball to get even out of his hands. He had both arms, ball, and everything. Yeah. Make him earn it at the free throw line, and that's a good foul by Logan. So Nick Paul's a six-foot senior at the line for the Knights. Logan's first personal foul. Back rim there by Paul. So on the floor for the Knights is uh, Wassinger. 
and Martin Pauls. Um, Reardon and too good. So makes the second one, 15 to four, Knights on top. McCullough will bring it down to set it up. He'll spin in the lane, gets it back out to Grayson George. Grayson drives, and all a nice block there by Sager Hart. So ball comes back on the outside to Too Good. No good, rebound by Crossing. <laughs> too Good, no good, that's pretty good stuff. Well, you know, luckily it rolled off my tongue. <laughs> ball goes back to McCulloch, back to Weedle. Weedle on the outside, tight man defense. Weedle shot up and off the mark, picked up by Reardon. It's back to Connor Martin. Connor Martin backs it away. Picks it up, gets it into the hands of Pauls. Pauls looks to the right side to Wassinger. He does get it over to Wassinger. Back over to Reardon for three. In and out. Rebound. Oh, my goodness. I thought we were going to knock one out of bounds. <laughs> Doherty and Grayson George both going for it. That's a pretty unorthodox three-point yeah. shot. Oh, he's a lefty, though. Yeah, 30 he's seconds. He's a lefty. So. out by Coach Shoup as Reardon spins the three ball out. Minneapolis with the ball. Minute 20 left. First quarter. 15-4, Sager Hart. The Hair Asylum, the newest and most modern hair salon in Minneapolis, will style your hair to give you the look that you've always dreamed of. Or you might just want a haircut. The Hair Asylum will do that too. Lynn and Brandon welcome new customers. Call 392-4555. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lion games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of Minneapolis Junior and Senior High School. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Trust is a word. Welcome back to uh, our technical guru, Dale Leach, and Mike Perry, myself, Scott Osherman here. Don't you love having me around, Dale? Yeah. So back to Keegan McCulloch. Keegan gets in hands of Logan Weedle. Logan back to McCulloch. And McCulloch and gets it over to Grayson George. Grayson crossover dribble. Gets it into Weedle. Weedle gets his man up in the air, no good, but gets his own rebound, puts it up, still no good, and too good with the rebound. Yeah, uh, they got numbers. a fast break. Big time. So they got their own guy, I guess. I don't know what happened down there. I think he lost the shoulder. So not sure what happened on that one. So but uh, needless to say, Reardon uh, they're pretty slippery down there. So, well, we take the time out. Yeah, we will. We'll be back. Well, the coach hit the wet spot where Martin put it on the floor. So, well, that's Dr. timeout. Well, that's Dr. Herrenbrook that took the took to the floor. So, all right, good one to have out there. We'll back. We'll send it back to work from our sponsors. That is very important in this day and age, especially when it comes to insurance. Since 1982, you've trusted the Davidson Agency in Delphus and Minneapolis to give you the best home, auto, farm, crop, life, and health insurance. Call Lyle Davidson at the Davidson Agency, your trusted choice. Your Minneapolis hometown hardware is always there when you need an appliance, paint, tools. Well, truthfully, the list just goes on and on and on. So the next time you need something, almost anything, go to Hometown Hardware in Minneapolis. They've probably got it. At Robertson Monuments, they believe that community is everything. Minneapolis is a great town to live in, and Robertson Monument is happy to be a part of the community. Robertson Monument, a Minneapolis Lions sports booster. Try to make as many games as you can. Welcome back to Minneapolis as uh, as Reardon goes, uh, actually Connor Martin goes off the floor. I, I, if I remember right, he was trying to undercut and trying to kind of run a little pick uh, to prevent that, and uh, he hit the floor. I don't know yeah, if it's from I, our player, but their coach uh, was yelling or kind of arguing with Shoup a little bit, trying to make it look like it. So there's a turnover. Just two close quarters there to give a give and go. But, yeah, I really didn't see too much over there other than the fact that Connor Martin hit the floor. And it really wasn't uh, kind of an accident. The way he just kind of slid and fell. Reardon, uh, Reardon gets it to fall in. Ball goes to Casey Argenbright. Casey will break the press. 19 to 4. Sager Hart well in control here. Really tight defense by Sager Hart. Back to Casey. Jeez, oh Pete. That was definitely a foul. 
<laughs> so, uh, I would hope so. Uh, Zach Littell with the reach around. Minneapolis will inbounds. McCulloch in the lane, back to, <laughs> wow, I, a lot of shoving going on down there, no call. Or there, I don't know. And ball goes on the floor, it's back to second heart. And that ends a wild first half of basketball, but it's all second heart nights as they're on top 19-4 to four at the end of the first quarter. The State Bank of Delphus and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks which offers traditional accounts such as checking, savings, certificates of deposit, IRAs, loans, and online banking. But most important, they're committed to making your banking experience as easy and as personal as possible. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. DNM Body Shop can repair any make or model of vehicle and make it look like new. They transform that ugly, messed up vehicle to its like new condition. You'll be saying, wow, what a job. DNM Body Shop, Minneapolis, the very best. Welcome back as the Minneapolis Lions trail by uh, 15, 19 to 4 at the end of the first quarter. And uh, uh, Minneapolis will have the ball to start the second quarter. And, you know, Mike, uh, second, taking nothing away from Sagar, they're a very solid ball team. Uh, very quick, and they've got some good athletes out there. Uh, they're pretty deep. They come off the bench with two or three guys. Uh, when you can come off the bench with a 6'4 kid. Very and physical. Six kid. They run a very physical man defense. Three-point shot off the mark. Rebounded by Grayson. Uh, pushed by Dylan Crossan. And well, catches Carter the Bryce elbow in the, the side of the head. What was that, Dale? Carter Bryce one did the foul on him. He came crashing from the outside. So they call it on Dylan, though. So she won the little bit of explanation. So 19 to 4 Knights so far here in the first half. High arcing shot off the mark. And Blue ball, you got to be kidding me. Well, they call a foul on call Casey. On. Oh, wow. Uh, you have to do that more casually, Casey. That's a foul. That's a foul. <laughs> Yeah, we have some dead air time there. Sorry about that, guys, but I'm still going back to <laughs> uh, back to that play where Casey was trying to prevent him from getting the ball. And uh, well, you throw a forearm into him right in front of the ref, and uh, the opposing team's player acts just a little bit like he gets up and gets fouled. As uh, Falls hits his first free throw, makes the score 20 to four. Knights on top. Second free throw attempt is, rolls in for the Knights. Ball goes into Grayson George, back to McCulloch, and as they'll bring it down to set it up. 21 to four, Knights on top. Looks down low to Grayson George. Grayson shot up and good, Line nice job. Uh, Grayson George. Ball goes back on the outside to Wassinger. Wassinger swing pass over to Reardon. Excuse me, uh, to, uh, yeah, to Reardon. Reardon back to Wassinger. Back to Pauls from the free throw line. Off the mark, rebounded by McCulloch. As he'll bring it down. Similarities a lot alike with uh, Republic County and Sacred Heart. Uh, defensively, both would like to put a lot of pressure on you. If they're up to the game, we'll be one to watch. Yeah. McCulloch, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no offense, Keegan, but uh, that was a, took an extra step on that one. <laughs> sure would have been nice. But yeah. <laughs> turnover back to the Knights. 21 to 6, 639 left to go here in the first half. Shot on the outside, off the mark. And a foul's called on Minneapolis. Logan, Logan. I believe. Second personal foul, foul on Logan. 
at the line will be Cal Walsinger. Eight team foul for the Lions. Garrett Doherty getting ready to check in. Shot is up and good. At the line, second free throw coming for Walsinger. That shot is up and he makes them both. Yeah, I think you're right, Dale. This would be uh, uh, to watch uh, Public County and Sacred Heart go out. I, I bet it would be a very, very good ball game. Doherty shot in the lane, off the mark. Rebound goes to the Knights. Knights push it up the floor quickly. Back in the hands of number four, Mark Reardon. So. Doherty on the outside. Shot up and good. Nice job, Garrett Doherty. Garrett has just improved so much. Uh, good to see Garrett. Uh, well, the defense didn't come to get him. Garrett was all alone, top the key, and just hammers down a little 12 footer. Ball goes back on the outside, back to Reardon. Reardon gets it down, stolen by McCulloch. Pull it back to Doherty. Uh, Jock's on the front the guy there. Three point shot by Grayson George. Nice job, Grayson. 25 to 11. Knight still well in the control here. 525 left to go in the first half. Good to see Grayson hit that three. And there we finally get a foul on Blue. Only their fifth one. Reardon called and fouled. McCulloch inbounds. Full court press picked up by the Knights. Keegan inbounds. It's a big Garrett. Garrett will break the press. Back to McCulloch. 5-17. Oh, wow. Tried to get it down to Owens, but very quick hands by Wassinger. Gets the interception. And there's Too another good. foul on Too Good. So he, Too Good has complained about Yoxer, the hatchet man earlier. Uh, he got carried away trying to get back, I guess. Connor Martin uh, got his arm in a sling, it looks like. So, or shoulder or something. So. Well, you hate, hate to see that. You hate to see that. Yeah, you do. You do. So. Ball will be inbounds to Doherty. 5.01 left to go. Garrett with the ball back in the hands of McCulloch. McCulloch picks up his dribble. Gonna have to get rid of it. Gets it in the hands of Doherty. And there's a foul on the floor. Doherty does a nice job of taking it in the hole. I'm just a little slow tonight on my talking, guys. I'm well, uh, Doherty, watching the ball here. <laughs> well, I don't blame you. Doherty, uh, had to be pretty aggressive there yeah. to come get the ball because McCulloch yeah. was, it was a 4.75 count out front and Garrett did a good job coming to get the ball and uh, create the, the foul and he's shooting free throws. Off the mark, misses it, misses the one and one, goes back in the hands of Reardon and the Knights. Ball goes back to Pauls, Pauls back to Washington. Washington on the top to keep three point shot, in and out, rebounded by a foul. Grayson George, come on. Grayson will bring it down and tipped out of bounds off of Walsinger and back to Tyrell Owens will inbounds it for the Lions. Tyrell, in, Tyrell to inbounds. Ball back to Grayson George and Reardon gets a nice pick by McCulloch. Uh, Keegan has set a nice pick, and uh, Reardon throws McCulloch out of the way. Well, you throw your shoulder into him right in front of the ref. That's three on Reardon. He will head to the pine. Jeff Picasso stepping in. Three for Reardon, is that right? Yeah. McCulloch at the line. 18 with eight fouls. Makes the first one. 25 to 12, 422 left to go here in the first half. Both teams in the bonus. 
Pollock's second free throw coming. Shot is up and it is good. Got it both. Charlie Lynn makes his first varsity appearance in a long time. In a long time. Good to see uh, Charlie out there. Well, that's exciting to see. Charlie's a hard worker. So it's back, what, January 6th, was it? Not sure, but it's been a while. That one home game we had in January? Yeah, it was. It was a home game, wasn't it? So, so ball goes back on the outside. The Wasslinger back. No, wow. Grayson George got the foul, but it was a... Uh, Look pretty, look pretty awesome. <laughs> Looks like all ball to me. Yeah. That's his second personal foul. He is uh, Jeff Picasso, a six foot three sophomore. They just keep bringing these six foot three kids in. So. Shot is up and off the back of the rim, no good. That one was not close. Second shot coming by Picasso. Shot is up, and it is good. Logan Weedle Logan checks in for Owens. And ball goes into Grayson George. Grayson will bring it down. Four minutes left to go here in the first half. Grayson top of the key. Back to Logan. Logan back to Garrett Doherty. Garrett gets his man in there. Back to Weedle for three. Andy Green, a nice job, Logan Weedle. Ball goes back to the Knights as Littell gets it back to Paul. Back to Wassinger. Wassinger back to Littell. Guarded by Doherty. Gets it back to Paul at the top of the key. Back to Picasso. Swings it over to Wassinger. Gets it down low to two good. And Minneapolis is going to be called with a foul, I believe, Lynn. Charlie Lynn. Charlie Lynn. Lynn. So, yep. Charlie Lynn and oh, I don't, I don't even. I got to get Charlie in here. <laughs> Charlie Lynn with the foul. First shot is up and good by Jordan. How's that, Dale? 27-16. <laughs> Knights on top by 11. 3:30 left to go in the first half. Second shot is up and good. Rattles them both in. And the Knights are going to call a timeout, a full timeout. So we will go ahead and take one with them. You're listening to 910KNA.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 8. If you're searching for the right insurance to fit your needs, look no further. American Family Insurance has been providing security and peace of mind for more than 80 years because they want to protect what matters most. Call Scott Osherman in Minneapolis, your American family insurance agent. Minneapolis is a dynamic and growing community. The Minneapolis Chamber of Commerce support of the Minneapolis High School Lions sports programming is just a small part of what they do. Be a chamber member. Come for a visit and stay for a lifetime. It's fast, it's furious, and it's fun. It's Minneapolis Raceway. Minneapolis Raceway has brought you exciting races to Central Kansas and will continue this tradition. This fast track will give you and your family some of the most exciting races ever seen. Go Lions! Welcome back to Minneapolis. 28-16, Knights on top. 3.30 left to go in the first half. Minneapolis has tried to claw their way back into this. Uh, so far, outscored the Knights here in the... Uh, in the quarter, second quarter. Doing a pretty good job. Uh, Grayson George hit the three, and uh, Garrett Doherty, good minutes on the floor yeah. for Coach Shoops. Grayson George will bring it down to set it up for the lines. Grayson gets it back to Doherty. Doherty on the outside, back to McCulloch. McCulloch looks to Weedle. McCulloch back to Grayson. Grayson will take the three. Good. It's off. Oh. And good hustle by by Keegan McCulloch and Charlie Lynn. It comes up is... is uh, is the Knights. Oh, wow! Nice job by Garrett Doherty. <laughs> Garrett Doherty did a great job to come down there and get the tie up in the air. And it'll stay, it'll stay, it'll go back to Minneapolis. Oh, a great job by Garrett Doherty. Alternate possession to Minneapolis. And we'll, no, no, it nope, will be. Stay, stays yeah. with Sacred Heart. Wow. He didn't touch it last? Nice defense. Well, they call tie up, Dale. Oh, okay. Call tie up. Jump ball. So. Uh, yeah. Backside, we've got to watch the weak yep. side. That pass goes into Picasso, and Kolek has him on the arm. And Kolek with his first foul. Picasso at the line. 
One for two the last time at the stripe. Picasso, pretty good looking 6'3 sophomore. Back of the rim, no good. I think he hit the back of the rim the first time too. Yes, he did. Okay. Have another one coming here. Minneapolis over the limit. Sacred Heart will be in the double bonus from here on out. 10 team fouls. Second shot by Picasso is good. And ball will go into Minneapolis. Garrett Doherty to bring it down to set it up. 29 to 16. Knights on top. Doherty on the outside. Back to Logan Weedle, and Logan travels with it. So turnover goes back to the Knights. With 251 left, 13 point lead for the Knights. Doherty doing a good job breaking down the defense, gets it off to Weedle. And Logan has that extra step to start with, and traveling's the call. Ball goes back to the top of the key to Wassinger, back over to Mattel, back to Picasso. Picasso back to Pauls. Pauls at the top of the key, guarded by Grayson George. Picks up his dribble, goes back to Wassinger. Wassinger on the outside. Crossover dribble, goes down low to too good, and puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Doherty, and tied up. Nice. Job. How in the world? Uh, uh, quick hands by Wassinger there to come over the top and take the ball out of his hands. But they had to tie up first of all. Well, anytime Too good you jump on top of a guy, I think it's a foul. And Doherty uh, took the brunt of that one. Too good was no good again. 29-16, <laughs> Sacred Heart, Minneapolis. Still in this thing here in the first half. Doherty with the ball at the top of the key. And he'll get it back to McCulloch. McCulloch back to Logan. Logan rolls around, sh shot, banks it in. Nice job, nice shot. Logan Weedle. Logan the kiss. Nice. Off the glass. Back nice on the outside shot. goes to Pauls. Pauls back to Wassinger at the top of the key. Wassinger back to Pauls. Minute 43 left to go here in the first half. Back to Littell. Littell will set it up at the top of the key. Goes back to Pauls. Pauls with the ball. At the top. And he will look and has nothing so far. He'll go to set the play call at minute 26. Looks at too good, has nothing, goes back to Wassinger. Wassinger back to Picasso. Picasso swing pass over to Pauls. Pauls looks down low to too good. Nice job by Charlie Lynn. And we got a foul there by number 15. That is a moving screen like we were wanting to call the other night get the call we get it tonight inbounds by McCulloch to Doherty 29 18 Minneapolis will try to cut it to single digit here with a minute 11 Doherty will bring it down gets it back to wheel for a deep three off the mark and Keegan with the push yep so a little bit a uh, little bit past <laughs> It would have been that great if he would have made it. That was weak. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. So, 29 days. Oh, that would have been a good no call. <laughs> uh, at the line is uh, Pauls. Nick Pauls. Shot is up and good. 30 to 12. Minute two left to go as Joxel checks in for Keegan McCulloch. As McCulloch picks his second foul. Also checking in John Jones, 5'10", 220-pound junior for the Knights. Second free throw is up, in and out, and he's over the line. Oh, Charlie Lynn called the violation as Pauls was over the line before the ball even hit the rim. Yeah, he's way over the line. Uh, needless to say, we uh, uh, violation. Pauls will have another shot at this. So. Charlie Lynn with the clear out with the left arm. And it's good. Minneapolis with the ball. Garrett Doherty with a minute left. 31-18, Lions trail by 13. Doherty with the ball. Back to Logan Weedle. Logan back to Tyrell Owens. Owens set it up here. Back to Yoxel. Yoxel back to Doherty. Doherty goes into Charlie Lynn. Charlie Lynn puts it up. No good. Rebounded by Doherty. No, Yoxel. Yoxel puts it up. No good. And... Going to be a foul on Charlie Lynn. So, 
What did I do, Charlie Lance? <laughs> Charlie Lance. The Hatchet Man. No, that's Yoxel, 42. Yeah. Well, Charlie was our Hatchet <laughs> Man before he was injured. Now we have two. <laughs> so, Pauls goes back to the line to shoot two more. First one is up and good. Second one coming for the Knights. 32 18, 36 seconds left, first half. Sacred Heart with a comfortable 14 point lead. That in and out. out. Rebounded by Trey Lynn. Back to Owens. Owens will bring it down to set it up with 32 seconds left. Garrett Doherty. Back to Yoxel. Yoxel in the lane. Back to Doherty. 21 seconds. Back to Weedle. Weedle back to Yoxel. Back to Doherty. 15 seconds left for the Lions. Doherty puts the ball up in the air and foul on the floor. But uh, I believe Charlie Lynn will be going to the line. No, Doherty was uh, fouled Doherty. on the way to the rack. He's going to shoot two. Tenth team foul. So it's a not, it was not a shooting foul, but it's a double bonus. So Doherty at the line. Off the front of the rim. Missed his first one also. So Jake Eckert checks in for Logan Wheeler. Eckert with throw. the buzzer, buzzer beater winner there the in JV the game, yeah. JV game. Only positive note of the night so far. Too hard is the second one. And ball goes back in the hands of the Knights. Paul's out on the outside. Drives lane. No good. Rebounded by Yoxel. And that's going to end the first half. So Minneapolis does cut into their lead, but uh, Sacred Heart still with a 14-point lead here going into halftime. We will hear a word from our sponsors, then we'll be back with some stats. You're listening to 910kna.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 8. Welcome back to Minneapolis as the uh, Sacred Heart Knights on top, 32-18 to 18 here at halftime. Uh, and uh, uh, Sacred Heart, uh, first quarter, just completely dominated the Lions, 19-4. to 4. Minneapolis did outscore them in the second quarter only by one, but... Uh, I felt like they played a much better second quarter. Now, uh, you, you look at this, uh, it, a 14-point deficit to try to build out of that and to try to climb your way out of this to start of the second half, and uh, it will be a challenge because Sacred Heart's a very solid team. Well, they uh, do play the real tight man-to-man -man defense and went to a zone, uh, spread Minneapolis out. Minneapolis not able to get a very good look, and then uh, Sacred Heart, a little bit of foul trouble with uh, Winholtz had to go to the bench, and uh, since then, uh, Connor Martin out with the shoulder problem. And then Reardon, I didn't see, I don't know how many fouls yeah, Reardon he has. ended up with three fouls, so Reardon he was on the bench fouls, also. Yeah. So, so three key people on the bench for Sacred Heart. And Minneapolis All three starters, yeah. able to get back in this ball game, actually, and uh, just down 14 here at half. Yeah. As uh, leading the way for the Lions, Grayson George with seven points, Logan Weedle with five. And then Keegan McCulloch with two, Andrew Yoxel with two, and Garrett Doherty with two. Uh, McCulloch uh, two for four from the free throw line, and unfortunately Garrett Doherty 0 for three from the line. So Lions uh, with 18 points at the half, and uh, how about the Knights? Scoring for the Knights, Connor Martin with five points, Kyle Watsinger with seven, leads the way for the Knights. Nick Falls with six, all from the free throw line. And Mark Reardon with six but as Scott mentioned uh, right in the pine quite a bit in the first half most of the second quarter on the bench with three personal fouls has six points Jordan too good off the bench six four pretty good looking uh, junior 175 pound junior has six points and Jeff Picasso pressed into duty uh, got a couple free throws and has two points in here in the first half the, uh, about a couple minutes away from the start of the second half, and you know, Dale, um, uh, we knew coming into this ball game that the Knights are going to be a tough, a tough team. Uh, Minneapolis, I felt like, did adjust in the second quarter. Uh, granted, they had a couple of their key players out, but I think uh, to come out in the second half, they're going to have to hit some of their shots, and they're going to have to find a way to get some openings. And right now, uh, Sacred Heart mixes it up pretty good with going with a. Uh, uh, a man defense, and then they even spread the 
spread the zone a little bit as well. So uh, in the second half, I think Minneapolis is going to have to really try to find that open cutter and uh, set some screens and yeah. and hit the buckets when we need to. Going to have to hit some better shots and have to play some better defense probably too. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I felt like uh, we gave away uh, uh, some fast break opportunities. They are definitely out rebounding us. I'm not sure what the rebound total is, but um, but they're strong, they're tall, they're physical on the inside. They're not overly tall, but they're very physical. Uh, just like Ellsworth, or some of that was just they just got more of them than we did. Yeah. Exactly. Makes it a little harder. Minneapolis will have to uh, tighten up the defense here a little bit and did a better job in the second quarter. Sacred Heart will apply the pressure all over the court, so we'll have to be ready for it. So uh, Too Good will get the start in the second half in place of uh, Connor Martin as Connor Martin is out uh, for the rest of the game. And, uh, and if I were guessing, Scott, it kind of looks like a partially separated shoulder, but yeah, I'm just I, guessing I, I don't it know. might have popped out and then popped back in. Yeah. But I don't, I'm no doctor, but the way he was holding it over there, it just looked like he was... Uh, Hit the... I caught the back side of it and I saw him laying on that shoulder and so I don't know. Arden Bright, Crossan, McCulloch, Weedle, and George for Minneapolis to start the second half. We're ten seconds away from start of the second half, and I think Baker Hurt will get the ball first here. And they will. As Wassinger will inbounds the ball for the Knights. Wassinger inbounds, and he'll get it in the hands of Reardon. And Reardon and Winholtz back, both back in the ball game to start the second half. Ball goes back on the outside of Too Good. Too Good back to Reardon. Reardon on the outside, looks down low to Winholtz. Goes back to Pauls. Pauls at the top of the key. Minneapolis backs off a little bit, gives it a little room. Back to Reardon, back to Too Good. Too Good swings it over to Pauls. Pauls goes back to Winholtz. Winholtz back to. Pauls, Pauls at the free throw line, nice pass down low, and stolen by Logan Weedle. Boy, too good, just could not handle that faster. They'd had a layup. And Minneapolis missed an opportunity with the layup right down there, and ball will come back the other direction. Nice job by Logan Weedle, and it's off of the hands of too good, and it'll be back, stay with Minneapolis. And we might have caught a break there. So. But Minneapolis will play it in, George. Grayson back to Casey. Casey back to Logan. Logan on the outside, back to McCulloch at the top of the key. Back to Casey. Casey looks, has nothing, goes back to Grayson for three. And drains a nice shot, Grayson George. Stroke is looking a little bit better this yeah. game, isn't it? You yeah, know, it helps to have your foot underneath you. Uh, and I think that's a big key right there, and, and it is looking a lot better. Reared him with the shot in the lane. Off the mark, rebounded by Argenbright. Casey will bring it down, gets it to Logan. Logan, and nice job. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought we were going to get rolled one to fall there, and it rolled right out of there. <laughs> nice job by Logan Weedle. Just couldn't quite finish it. And there's going to be a foul on Grayson George. And I think that will be number three foul as Tyrone Owens to check Grayson in. Two, At the line will be four, number four, Mark Reardon. Reardon. Looks like a nice block for yeah. you guys. Well, there's plenty of space between the bodies. He must have got him on the arm somehow. Shot is up and no good. As Owens will check in for Grayson. So, second shot coming for the junior, Mark Reardon. A little confusion by the official there. Blew his whistle, but nothing. Substitute is going in for the shooter. Yeah, I wondered. I wondered about that. So, Littell comes in for Reardon. So, ball will go back to Minneapolis as Casey Argenbright will bring it down. Casey back to Logan. Logan at the and stolen by Pauls as Pauls takes it all the way the other direction. So very quick hands by the Knights as they get the steal and the uh, Pauls takes it all the way down and finishes it. 
Back to McCulloch and Keegan did jump with it. So, timeout called by Minneapolis. And 35 to 21. We will go ahead and take one with them. You're listening to 910KNA.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 8. Minneapolis is a dynamic and growing community. The Minneapolis Chamber of Commerce support of the Minneapolis High School Lions sports programming is just a small part of what they do. Be a Chamber member, come for a visit, and stay for a lifetime. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lion Backers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lion games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of Minneapolis Junior and Senior High School. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Welcome back to Minneapolis as the Lions on top right, our trail right now, 35 to 21, as Sacred Heart Knights will have the ball. Well, we've got a little white fuzzy bear, and we got a pink flamingo over in the student section. And Meckle's just wondering what in the world is going on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so am I. I'm not sure either. So but that's right. elements. Wassinger with the ball back to Pauls. Pauls on the right hand side goes back to the top of the key. As very content to just kind of sit back and not do anything. Casey will come up and put well, a little well, pressure. And nearly get the steal. Oh, wow. Nice passing by the Knights as Winholtz gets the bucket to fall. And that was some pretty nifty passing. Casey with the ball at the top. Back to Keegan. Keegan nicely wow. does a nice job of not the traveling with guy that. did a nice job. And Dylan crossing, muscling down there with Winholtz, and he's going to get called with a foul. So. Yoxel checks in. 37 21, Sacred Heart, 525 left. Third quarter. Dylan just picks up his third foul. That's Minneapolis' second team foul here in the second half. Ball goes back on the top of the key to Littell. Littell back to Reardon, back to two good. Back to Littell. Looks at Winholtz, goes back to Reardon for three. That's a killer right there. That's a big killer right there. Not that we were back into it, but 19 but down. Weedle with the bucket and the foul. No. Crossing? Yep. You got to be kidding me. I'm going to have to uh, change who wow. I want to call the hatchet man here, I guess. The, foul is on the bucket did foul. count. The bucket did count by McCulloch. Uh, or it's not McCulloch. Uh, Weedle. Weedle. But, uh, uh, and Littell checks uh, out for the Knights. And Reardon checks in. Tyrell Owens will guard Reardon at the top. 40 to 24, Knights on top. Back to the top of the key to Wassing. It's a two good. Back to Pauls, nice defense by Minneapolis. Uh, goes back in the hands of Wassinger though. And McCulloch doing a nice job and the block. Oh, jeez, old Pete. That better be on number 11. Yeah, I'd say absolutely that better be on. Absolutely. Kyle Wassinger just absolutely clobbered Tyrell Owens. Jeez, old Pete. Sacred Heart crowd is sitting here arguing with the call. So. Almost another yeah. separated shoulder there. So, I think he had a pinky dragon in the hand there or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shoulder pinky, you know. Back in the hands of Grace and George. Grace on the outside. Back to Casey Argenbach. Casey gets some man up in the air. Reardon he gets foul. Reardon foul right there. Fourth one, so. Casey can draw that foul. And, and Reardon up in the air. Foul on Sacred Heart number four. Oh, that's a fourth Reardon. foul four on Reardon. Casey Argenbright will go to the line and shoot two. Probably their biggest three-point threat from the outside. Other than Martin. And Martin's already out. So. Yeah, and you, uh, no offense to this John Jones, but boy, you, you take, you, you lose a lot by Yeah, so. 
Second shot is up and good by Casey. 14 point deficit here. Ball goes in the hands of Littell, back to John Jones. Jones on the outside. Back to the two good, two good back to Pauls. Pauls to set up with four minutes left to go in the third quarter. Pauls on the outside. Picks up his dribble, goes back to two good, two good back to Jones. Jones goes to Winholtz. Winholtz back on the outside. Goes to Littell. Littell guarded by Weedle. Ball goes back in the hands, goes down low to two good. And going to be a foul on Grayson George. That's going to be four on Grayson, too. So. That's getting a fourth personal foul. That or it's going to hurt. Yeah, that will. Charlie Lynn and Tyrell Owens check in for Yoxel and George. So on the floor for Minneapolis will be Charlie Lynn, Keegan McCulloch, uh, Casey Argenbright, Logan Weedle. Yeah. So Keegan McCulloch with the hold down there as he was trying to hold uh, Winholtz from uh, from cutting through. So ball will go into Pauls. Pauls guarded by Argenbright. Back in the hands of Littell. Littell on the outside. Nice crossover dribble. And there we go. Charlie Lynn. That's what I like to see about Charlie Lynn being back, guys, <laughs> as he did a great job of drawing the charge right there. Fourth foul on Mattel. I just take her hurt, start and get in a little foul yeah. trouble. Yeah. Doesn't hurt my feelings, Jenny. They got a 14 point lead. It's only their third foul of the half. Though. Yeah, but, but they're on key players, Dale, you know. So, Casey Argenbright to bring it down. Back to, to Owens, back to Logan. Logan with the ball, back to McCulloch. No way. He did not travel on that one, Dale. I'd have pulled the pivot foot. I'm no. not sure. I'm going to argue with you. <laughs> you watch it Sunday afternoon and you tell me. <laughs> I'm calling that a travel. <laughs> See, uh, he, he fakes and then he uh, puts the le other foot down. It's all in the he, head, guys. Before it's he puts the, the ball down, he's got the other foot coming up off the floor. Charlie Lynn? No. Call it. Uh, fourth personal foul on Keegan. So everybody's in yeah. foul trouble now. We're yeah, just in the Grace third, and George third quarter still here, across yeah. the Keegan. We're going to have, have a JV soon. game here in a, here in a little bit. Uh, so, oh, wow. Oh, Winholz, come on, man. You've been getting away with it yeah. all night. So that'll be four on Winholz, won't it? Oh, it's only three. Hey, that's four on Winholz. We're even. They had three fouls. No, three. three. Yeah, all three. Gosh darn it. Uh, everybody's got four. <laughs> oh, it's just three. <laughs> uh, but needless to say, they're the bonus now. So. Casey will bring it down. 40 to 26. Knights on top. Hargan right with the ball. Back to Tyrell Owens. Owens back to Casey. Back to Eckert. Eckert on the outside. Back to Weedle. Weedle. And there we go. And too good. Too good with the foul. And uh, give him credit for going over there and helping him up. So nice job, too good. So Weedle will go to the Gentlemanly line. thing to do. <laughs> okay, Logan Weedle at the line. First one is up and good. Well, what I'm laughing at, guys, is the fact that um, I, I have not been paying attention, and I've missed some points. So we've it's missed. 40-27. So. Minneapolis just down 13, and Logan gets them both. Just down 12 now. 2.55 left, third period. Sacred Heart with the ball here. Ball goes back on the outside. Swing back to the top. Ooh. Oh, Logan. Oh, no oh, way. I think that no. is a silly call. You've got to be kidding me. No way. That's what Shoot's telling me, too. How can that be intentional? How can that be an intentional foul? Oh, He's going wow. for the ball. He was going for the that ball. Is, that is the lamest call I have seen in a long time. So... 
So uh, get a technical shoot because that was a pathetic call. So absolutely pathetic call. Second shot is up and misses them both, and that's deserving. So he was definitely up in the air going for the ball, and I don't know if they're trying to make a statement now that now that the uh, the fact that this too late it's too <laughs> late. Yeah, this ball game has been out of control for a long time. Shot is up and good by Wasser. Wasser with the bucket. From back the other direction goes Casey Argenbach. Argenbach back to Weedle for three. There you go. Take that one. Nice job, Logan Weedle. So 42 to 31. 218 left to go here. 11 point game. We're back. One more bucket. We're back in this yeah. thing here. Yeah, we definitely with some foul trouble. So, ball goes into the hands of Pauls. Pauls drives all the way in and gets the bucket to Paul. Owens will bring it down. Tyrell with the ball on the outside. Back to Weedle. Back to Casey. Casey, take that shot, Casey. Back to Weedle for three. Rains it. Nice job, Logan Weedle, as he hits the second one. Nice job, Logan. Down to 10, 44-34. Shouldn't have called the intentional foul on him, guys. There we go. Should never have called the intentional foul on him because now he's mad. Yeah. <laughs> Yoxel back in, Charlie Lynn out for Minneapolis. So, ball will go in hands of Casey Argenbach. 44 to 34, Casey back to Logan, another three, same spot, drains it, yes. Wow, nice job, Logan Weedle. And they've cut it right into the seven point ball game here. Great job, Logan Weedle. Foul is on the floor, but it will be in the bonus as Tyron Owens gets called with the foul. I think they'll uh, try to guard him next time? Yeah, I think they will. Uh, three for three from the same spot. I don't think they'll let him have another one. I think he likes that spot. <laughs> <laughs> call, another, call another foul on him, Rip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> so, Garrett Doherty checking in for Argenbright. And at the line will be number 11, Cal Wassinger. Wassinger at the line. One on one. Shot is up and good. So, second shot coming. Hey, there's a shot. Coach Darrell's over there holding my little girl. Second one is no good. And rebound, Winholtz goes flying in there, and they call the foul on Minneapolis. Wow. It was a good foul. Yoxer late getting there. Call on Yoxer, though. So. Only the first one, Andrew. Yeah. Winholtz will go to the line. Free throw attempt coming. Shot is up and good by, by the six foot three junior. Uh, that's a player that will be a big force for them next year, coming back. Him and Reardon. And too good. No, Reardon didn't need senior? No. no. Sucks. Yeah. Makes them both. As ball will be inbounds to Owens. Owens with the ball on the outside. Has to pick up his dribble. Back to Weedle. Weedle on the outside. 58 seconds left. Back to Eckert. Nearly lost it. Coach Schupp rolling the dice here a little bit with a couple of his best ball handlers on the bench. Oh, uh, nice job. Andrew Yoxel has tried to get it in there, and uh, Yoxel will go to the line, but great job by Andrew Yoxel to muscle it up. Been sweet to see that thing fall. Yeah, yeah. It would have been. Jordan too good with the foul. Third personal foul on too good. 45.8 seconds left. Shot is up and good by the freshman. Nice job, Andrew. Weedle comes up and rubs his hair. Nice job. That's a good luck thing. <laughs> Second shot coming by Oxel. 
shot is up and it's off the mark. And Winholtz with the, ah, not a good foul. Not a good foul. Reach around is, is uh, Jake Ecker with the reach around. And that will send Winholtz back to the line. He was two for two the last time at the line. So. Thirty-eight forty-seven. Knights on top. Winholtz at the line. Shot is up and good. Pretty solid ball player in Winholtz. John Jones checks in. For two good. Second shot coming by. Winholtz is up and it is good as well. Eckert inbounds, gets it to Owens. Tyrell will bring it down to set it up. Weedle on the outside, back to Eckert, back to Yoxel. Yoxel at the top of the key, goes back to Weedle. Back on the outside, 27 seconds left. Doherty with the foul, is fouled, he will go to the line. And Garrett, we're going to need these, buddy. One and one for foul Garrett. On number 11, Wassinger, second, second foul on Wassinger. Shooting one on one and Garrett will go to the line. Seventh team foul on Sacred Heart. Minneapolis will shoot one and one here from here on out. Doherty rolls it in. Nice job, Garrett. Gets the first one, and so you'll have another one coming here. 25.2 seconds left, 10 point ball game. Second shot coming by Doherty. Shot is up and it is good. As Charlie Lim will check in. Charlie Lim will check in for Weedle. It's nine point ball game here. As Wasson will bring it down for the Knights. Started by Doherty. 18 seconds left to go here in the first half. Wassinger at the top of the key and gets it off to Pauls. Pauls picks up his dribble, gets back to Wassinger for three. Oh, no. Wow. And the bucket as Winholtz. Terrible foul. Yeah. As Charlie Lynn gets his third personal foul, and Winholtz gets the bucket and will have one. Perfect from the line, last four attempts. 51 to 40. Shot is up and off the mark, rebounded by Minneapolis. Shot is up and off the mark as he tried to draw the foul. Couldn't quite get it, and. Minneapolis does cut in the lead, though. Again, we've won the second and the third quarter, guys. Not by very many, but we have clawed our way back in this, down by 11. We will take a break. You're listening to 910KNA.com, as well as EU Communication Channel 8. A couple of not-so-smart fouls down there. Grayson George, Dylan Crossan, and Keegan McCulloch all with four fouls. Argenbright back to McCulloch. McCulloch back on the outside. And gets it to Grayson. Grayson with the ball. As he gets his man up in the air. Nice job with the left hand up and good. Great job, Grayson George. Ball over the back in the hands of Reardon. A lot of players on the floor with a lot of fouls, both teams. Walsinger on the outside. Goes back as he will take it all the way down. And yes, nice job by Grayson George to step into that one. And the charge called on number 11, Kyle Wassinger, third personal foul. Keegan McCulloch in and inbounds for the Lions, back to Casey Argenreich. Casey will bring it down. Nice job by Grayson on that Yes. One. It's always a little bit nerving for a guy with four fouls to take that charge like that. McCulloch. And the charge called on McCulloch. Oh, wow. Wow. Five. I'll tell you, let's, let's just, uh, wow. But uh, that's five fouls on Keegan, too. Oh, that is just, 
Absolutely. Well, the funny thing about it is he already shot the shot off and then yeah, created the so player so control so foul. So that's actually a foul after the shot yeah. and they didn't count the basket. Yeah. Keegan's a good kid. Nice job, Keegan. Uh, great young man and classy comes out and does a nice job. So Wassinger on the outside, off the mark, rebounded by Casey Argenbrock. Casey goes up and pulls that one down. Casey will bring it down. Back to Grayson. Grayson back to Yoxel. Yoxel, little left hand, no oh good. Oh boy, we Kisses. got away with the third, didn't we? And still can't get it. Comes up with it again, puts it up, no good. How can we not get that? And now Grayson's gonna get called with his fifth foul. Darn it. Wow. And that's five on Grayson, and that is absolutely pathetic. So, <laughs> oh, I'll tell you guys, it's it's gonna be. <laughs> so, well, so. what's what's sad about that is that the hatchet man had Mr. Uh, Windholz all wrapped up there uh, <laughs> yeah. on his first one. <laughs> Big that's, red that's had the him foul, uh, the over the back, that's there. for sure. And uh, I yeah, just kept going. Nice job, Grayson. Not criticizing Andrew's effort. That was no, great effort. No, it was yeah. great effort by Andrew's. But uh, it's just that foul was there and wasn't called. It was pretty obvious to me. There's a ton of confusion going on, but these officials don't even know who's in and who's out. And, and for as well as these officials start out, it's been pathetic. The last half of the third of the girls' game and this game, this game, these guys have. <laughs> I don't know. Second shot is up and good by Wynn Holtz. No basket violation on Sager yeah, Hart. Yeah, Hart. And two good, two good chewing his own player out. That's pretty sad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> 52 to 42, 648 left to go. We're sitting amongst Sager Hart crowd, and they're probably not liking anything I've got to say, but I don't care. <laughs> Ball goes back to Yoxel. Yoxel back to Weedle. Weedle on the outside. Back to Casey. Casey, oh, can't get it to can't get it to fall. He'll go to the line as he draws a foul on Windholz, and that'll be four foul on Windholz. Josh Windholz so. and, and Casey will go to the line to shoot two. Well, we could use these to get down to an eight-point lead, and there's still plenty of time left in this fourth quarter. 52-42, free throw is good. Nice job, Casey. I missed three points in the third quarter, guys, somewhere. I don't know if we had, uh, I know Logan had three three-pointers and Grayson had one. Did we have another one that I just missed somewhere? Shot, the second shot is up and good by Casey. No, oh, Grayson had two or not, I can't remember. Yeah. I'm gonna give him two, so. <laughs> Casey's gonna pick up his third foul. Trying to go for the loose ball That's there. Pretty obvious. Foul yeah. number three, Casey Hartenbright. That's his third personal. Shooting two for Sacred Heart. I guess he wants to foul out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to, uh, the ref was right there, but. Shot is up and good by Paul. Latell will check in for Reardon. With 6.28 left to go in the ballgame. Second shot coming by Pauls. Shot is, oh wow, thought that was going to be hard and he rattles it in. 10 point ball game, 54 to 44. Wow. Logan Wheeler gets the block, goes back the other direction and that's going to be thrown out of bounds and turnover back to Minneapolis. So, 
The Oxford inbounds for the Lions. 6-13 left to go in the ballgame. Foul is going to be called on. There, Winholtz is gone. Sit down, buddy. Oh, not me. Yeah, I didn't yeah, do baby. anything. I didn't do anything. So. So. <laughs> he can't so. believe it. Yeah, now he's going to. So. So. So, Reardon will check back in. Crossing will go to the line. As both teams in the double bonus. So, yep, the ref says, yeah, I know, I know, I've heard it. <laughs> Shot is up and good by Dillon. It's a nine-point ball game here. 6.06 left, fourth quarter. A couple long ones, and we'd be right there. Second one is up and good. Nice job, Dillon. Eight-point ball game here, guys. 6.05 left to go. Ball goes back in the hands of the Knights. Paul's at the top, gets it down low to two good, and that's going to be five on crossing. And Dylan will foul out. Our entire front line oh, is, gone. is gone. And that is his fifth foul. I'll tell you, it has been a foul's with only two points, so Keegan McCulloch fouled out with only two, and Dylan Crossan fouls out with two. Grayson George, the one that really hurts with 15 on the bench. Could we, six minutes. could we suit up Knox just in case we need an extra body inside? We're starting well, no. to run low on uh, players here. Two good at, still over there. Too. Too good at the line, so. Makes the first I'm one. Sure Groot can still crank a three. Well, I'm sure he can. Second one is up and no good. Rebounded by Yoxa. In the hands of Owens. Well, Ty Tyrell will push it down. Back swings over to Casey. Casey gets his man up in the air. Puts it up. Oh, yeah. Nice job, Casey. And too good. Too good with the foul. Casey will go. I think that's only like three on two good. Foul on number 12, Jordan Too Good. That's his fourth part. Oh, good, 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 good. So. Casey will go back to line. Shot is up and good by Casey. Nice stroke there by oh, Argenbright. One more and we've got a seven point ball game. And off the mark, but Charlie Lynn fighting for it. Ah, nice job Charlie Lynn though. Good hustle Charlie on that one. Couldn't, couldn't put it or pulled in, but he was fighting hard for it. Good to see Charlie back. Ball goes back to the Knights as Walsinger will bring it down. Walsinger with the ball. Back on the outside, goes Littell, back to Wassinger. Picks up the dribble, swings it over to Paul. Paul's back to Reardon. Reardon on the outside. Swings it over to Paul's. Paul's back to Wassinger. Wassinger guarded by Tyrell Owens. Swings back to the top of the key to Paul's. Paul's back to Wassinger. 5.07 left to go in the ball game. Nice job, Charlie Lynn on the defense. Oh, wow. And then we throw Three it seconds. away. Come on. Wow. Wow. That, that's a killer. That is a killer. Nice job, Charlie Lynn, though, on the defense. He did a great job of fronting his man and got the. He's got too big a hurry. He's too big a hurry. Yep. Tried to, tried to push it up and. Yeah. 3924555. Welcome back to Minneapolis as Lions trail by 10 here. 57-47 had a chance to get within seven. Weedle down low, shot up and off the mark. Rebounded by Too Good. Too Good. Nice job by Casey Argon. Oh wow. Nice job. Still on the floor. And Charlie Lynn comes up with a nice job. Oh, Charlie hit it again. Oh, but Casey comes away with it. Nice job by Minneapolis. Casey pushes it down the floor. Back to Weedle. Weedle pushes it up and blocked. partially blocked by Too Good. Or it, it could have been Littell. But Reardon will bring it down the other direction. Reardon shot back to Too Good. Back in the hands of Wasser. 
Ball so you're stolen by Yoxel. Great job, Andrew Yoxel. In trouble here. And gets it back in the hands. Weedle for three. Yes! Nice job, Logan Weedle. From Great downtown. Shot. Logan lines up a three ball, and Minneapolis within seven here. Nice. Yoxel just picked his pocket oh, over here. That was a great defense by Yoxel. 57 to three. And, oh, uh, wow. You got to let him go. You got to let him go. Charlie Lynn's going to get his fourth foul, and uh, you got to let that one go. Tyrell. Is it Tyrell? Yeah, okay. That's his second. So, too good. We'll go to the line to try to get a three point play here. Had it. Shot by Too Good is up and good. Fifty-nine to fifty or sixty to fifty. Sager Hart with the lead. Three forty-four left to go. Argonbright will bring it down, set it up for Minneapolis. Back to Yoxel. Back to Weedle. Weedle back to Casey. Casey will bring it up and set it up. Shot is up and good by Casey. Ball goes back to Walsinger. Jump stop by Casey yeah. and they rig he ricocheted off uh, the Sacred Heart defender, but nice little 10 footer there. Yeah. Ball goes back in the hands of Walsinger in the corner, guarded by Yoxel. Uh, nice try, Andrew. Andrew's going to get called with the reach in, but he did a great job of trying to. They're trying to get the tie up there. Foul Call with a foul. I can't get over the fact that's only his second. That's guys. His second. That's a, uh, they got a new guy in, a sophomore Ben Platten, Platten in for the Knights. His first action of the night. At the line will be Wassinger. Wassinger hits it. Sacred Heart has been pretty solid from the free throw line. So. I don't know how many, have, but it seems like they've been pretty solid. Second shot is up and makes them both. Yeah, just can't get it down below the eight point mark. Back to Yoxel. Yoxel at the top, back to Owens. And foul's gonna be called on number 15. That's another new player. Or no, that's Mattel, yeah. That's five on Latte. He's gone. So we need to get one on uh, Mr. number 12 down there. So Latte will be gone. Yeah, I like the way they just have to talk to the ref. Right, explain this to me now. I wasn't a foul in there. Come on now. <laughs> Every one of them. Hey, work them. Casey's shot is oh off the mark. We have another one coming here. <coughs> Three minutes left to go in the ball game. Second free throw shot is up and good. Ball goes back in the hands of Pauls. Pauls back to Wassinger. Wassinger. Wassinger with the ball at the top of the key and picks up his dribble. Oh, nice pass down low to two good. And can't get it to fall, but the foul's going to be on Charlie Lynn, I believe. Oh, Argenbright. Argenbright. So that's four on Casey. That's his fourth personal foul. Run out of players, guys. <laughs> 241 left to go here. Uh, well, you got uh, Doherty on the bench. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. And Eckert and Macy. First shot is up and good by two good. They have made their free throws they have. down the stretch. They have. Uh, you got to you got to give him some credit there. So. Save the game for him. Oh, absolutely. Second shot is up and good. Ball goes into Argenbright. Casey will bring it down. 64 to 53. Knights on top. Back to Weedle. Weedle on the right hand side. Back to Casey. Casey gets his man up. Casey is going to get one of those to fall. <laughs> so. Walsinger. Foul on number 11, Kyle Walsinger. That's his fourth, fourth foul. foul. Not to tell you, both teams just three, decimated with fouls. They are. Uh, it's, it's just a, a brutal ball game. 
<laughs> well, there being one left standing. Wow. Where we the missed some opportunities here in the uh, fourth quarter from the line. Second shot coming by Casey. Nope. Missed them both. And thrown out of bounds by Reardon. Turnover back to the lines. So 64 to 53. Ball will go in to Argenbright. Casey uh, picks up his dribble way too quickly there. Back to Logan. Logan on the outside. <laughs> and that's going to be five on, I think. Well, maybe not. 20 balls. balls. Oh, whoa. That's only one on balls. How is that possible? <laughs> How is that absolutely possible? He would be the only one that has one foul. <laughs> The Oxel will go line for two here. Everyone else has four or five. <laughs> Shot is up and good by Oxel. Oxel pretty solid from the free throw line. Uh, does a good job with these free throws. Second shot coming by Oxel. And good. Nice job, Andrew. Both teams in a double bonus. 2.13 left in this contest. 64-55. I'd hope both teams win the double bonus. <laughs> it's been it's been that way. So ball goes back in the hand to Wassinger. Wassinger uh, back to Platten. Platten back wisely kicks it out to Pauls. Back to Platten. Platten back on the top of the key to Reardon. Reardon will bring it back to Wassinger. Wassinger need to foul Platten. Yeah, there you go. Nice job. That's a wise choice. Foul the sophomore that's only been in there a couple minutes. So. Two shots here for the sophomore, you say? Yep. Six-foot sophomore. Shot is no good. Oh, I missed that. How did I do that? Oh. <laughs> uh, Second shot coming here. Shot is up and no good. And, oh, wow. And foul's going to be called on Weedle, I believe. Yep. That'll be four on Logan. So. That is smart play by uh, Sager Hart to tip that one out. Yeah, yeah. that's... Uh, Smart play. Reardon probably make these. <laughs> Missed the first one. Well, Sacred Heart doing a good job at the free throw line. Missed their last three now. Yeah. Second shot is up and missed them both. Wow. Back to Casey. Casey will bring it down. Oh, Charlie. I, I don't agree with that. He stopped. Oh. oh, wow. I don't agree with that. Garrett Doherty will check in for the Lions. Garrett Doherty, replacing number 23, Logan Weedle. And Tyra Garrett will check in for Logan. Foul, oh, Casey can't foul him. He's got five fouls. Oh, wow. Good ball movement there. And there's the foul. That's right. Got Garrett in there to yeah. foul. So. Shot is up and good by Garrett in there. So. Second shot is up and makes them both. Ball will go back in the hands of Argenbright. Casey back to Charlie. Charlie back to Garrett. Garrett back to Logan. Logan a deep three. Drains it. Wow. Nice job, Logan Weedle. Five trays in six. the second half. Six total trays. Five in the second half. Uh, you got a couple players that can get a foul in there. You don't want to foul Wassinger. But uh, oh, it's rocked. Uh, but you may have to. Bow goes back on the hands of Pauls. Pauls. 
swings it back to the top of Keita Reardon. That's going to be on Owens, and Owens will send Reardon to the line. Earlier. Shot coming by the junior. Lefty puts it up, and good. Checking in for back on him, so. <laughs> Second shot coming by Reardon. Shot is up, and good. Makes them both. And ball goes into Casey. Case, oh, wow, Logan was open in the corner. Logan deep three. Nails it. Nice job, Logan Weedle. Wow. Seven. Seven three pointers. Wow. That is huge. Nice job by Yoxel. Shot is up and no good. Good. And then take a full one with him. 68 to 61. 42.5 seconds left to go in this right. Charlie Lynn and Logan Weedle. At the line, Wassinger for a second attempt. Shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Argenbright. Argenbright will push it down with 40 seconds left. Back to Macy. Macy back to Doherty. Doherty back to Logan. Logan back to Doherty. Doherty shot up and it's off the mark. Nice try by Doherty though. That Look good. looked good. And that's Paul's, a very smart move by Paul's to bring that one out. Oh my goodness. That is the second intentional foul they've called. They're called intentional. On Garrett Doherty. Intentional foul on number 20, Garrett Doherty. Thought it was on him, I think. Now. Shot is up by Pauls and good. Second one coming. Shot is up and good. 70 to 61. The Knights will have the ball to inbounds. Knights to throw it in. They get it in the hands. There you go. By Casey. Casey shot up and off the mark. No good. Nice try by Garrett Doherty. So 12.7 seconds left. That's thought we might be able to hit a three right there. They've been a killer right there, huh? Well, it wasn't a really good look, and we didn't have a lot of time to wait for one. Kyler didn't have the line. Shot is up and good. Checking in for second hard number 14, Garrett Lumpkin, number 13. Uh, number 13. Keenan Thompson. I'm trying to check in. Uh, Keenan Thompson. And number 14, Garrett Lust. Shot is up and good. I will go into Minneapolis. Argon Bright with the ball. Tyler Macy back to Doherty. Doherty for three. Off the mark. And that'll end it. So. 72 to 61. Sager Hart comes away with the victory. Over the Minneapolis Lions. But uh, wow. Nice, uh, excellent performance by, uh, a gutsy performance by the Lions. 22 free throws made by Sager Hart there in the second half. In the second so half. They had a lot of their points were at the free throw line.